20th Century Studios presents A Haunting in Venice, now playing only in theaters. You were saying? From the world of Agatha Christie. You are coming with me. Comes what Entertainment Weekly calls Kenneth Branagh's best Poirot film yet. I will not be next. Then we must be careful. It's the perfect movie for fall. It is fabulous. It will keep you guessing. My money's on the housekeeper. Until the very end. I'm changing my guess. We continue. A Haunting in Venice. Directed by Kenneth Branagh. Rated PG-13. Maybe inappropriate for children number 13. Now playing only in theaters. Summer fun starts at your nearby commuter rail station. Train be carefree by going car free. Take the train to beaches, a night out, or family fun around Boston. On weekends and holidays, ride all you want for just $10. Plus kids 11 and under always ride free. Get tickets with the M-Ticket app or on board from a conductor. Okay, we're here. Flu shot time. How about we come back tomorrow or next week? We're all here now. We can just run in and out.
Oh my god, hello? Who's this? I don't even know how to do this anymore. Um, if I sound like 10 octaves deeper, it's because I am still sick. Hello, friends. How is it going? <clears throat> um, I wanted to come and <laughs> hold on. I wanted to come and say hi today, watch some stuff because I had stuff that I wanted to watch, but felt weird watching it all by myself. So I was like, you know what? What if I tried to stream today and watched on stream like I normally would? And um, also just kind of test out streaming in general with my body. Um, and <laughs> I don't, I don't think so. Uh, I'm, a, I'm, I've been sick enough for long enough. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. How are you doing, Kiwi? <clears throat> I'm not used to like talking a lot at the moment, so. Yeah, I really don't. I don't need any more sickness than I already have. You know, just hacking up. Um, hey, same. Yeah. I have been for a week and a half. Consistently. So, I know how you feel. Um, turns out though, I have strep throat. So, um, I'll take a cold over strep any day. I think a, <laughs> I think a cold would have been a little bit easier to manage. Yeah, no, not fun. Imagine having strep and not having a sore throat, and it taking you a week to find out what you have. Therefore not getting better because you're not on antibiotics because you don't know you have strep. <laughs> That's fun. I mean, I've done that before too. I've also fainted. That's not fun either. Uh, but yeah, I, I found out a couple of days ago that I actually had strep and not a virus um because my throat culture came back like two days later after I went to my appointment and they're like oh yeah you have a weird type of strep that's usually asymptomatic and a carrier so um weird that you're so sick so we'll give you antibiotics and I'm just like yeah cool love that you pre-ordered Lies of P. I hope it's good. A sleep test done? Ooh. It does not sound great. Um, <clears throat> sorry. My voice is really messed up, you guys, so... Apologies in advance. I'm st I'm very congested. So I'm gonna be muting myself a lot, probably, to cough. So I don't cough in my microphone. Oh, sleep apnea. Fun. Love that for you. Not fun. Um, so, I, I, I realize a lot happened this week, the past couple days while I've been sick. There was a state of play, there was a Nintendo Direct, and there was the Genshin 4.1 live letter, which was obviously the most exciting, and I really wanted to watch all this stuff. Um, Plus, watching stuff means I don't have to talk as much. So I thought I would attempt just doing that today. Um, because I think altogether... Oop, didn't mean to do that. Let's see what the state of play... So the state of play from yesterday is 27 minutes. And the Nintendo Direct from yesterday was 41 minutes. So... And also the Genjin live letter... Is, I believe, an hour and 20 minutes? Right? Yeah, it was an hour and 21 minutes. So... All these things put together... I would say would be... Pretty... Long... 
uh, for sickly me. I was hoping to get on Genshin as well, just so I could do <coughs> my event stuff, but... <clears throat> You're four years away from gay dead. Don't complain until you get to 30. Okay. Wait, you're 26? I'll stick around for state of play in the direct, but I don't want to be spoiled on anything for Genshin. Uh, have you not done any of the Genshin stuff yet? Like at all? What are you doing, Kiwi? I've been sick for like two weeks and even I'm caught up. What are you doing? Why did you cut? What do you mean you quit Genshin? You quit Genshin in the most exciting, best update they've ever had in the entire game? Imagine. Uh, G working. Une inexcusable. <laughs> inexcusable. <clears throat> um, yeah, Genshin stuff's been really fun lately, I'm not gonna lie. I've been, I've been in love with Fontaine stuff. So I'm happy that it's that it's a thing. Earning a paycheck to get wishes. Can't relate. I'm poor. <laughs> huh. It's called World of Warcraft. Eh. 14's better. I have 60 days of game time for WoW. And I, I, I will no longer have game time for 14, um, for I don't know how long, so... Might actually... Play WoW at some point. Oh, I know how that, I know that feeling. Although I never, I didn't really lay in bed while I was sick. I can't do that, I, I get, I'm actually worse laying in bed than I am, like, being up and around. But I will say, I had a high, I had, like, high fevers the first several days of being sick until, like, the weekend, and ugh. <sighs> Not fun. Not a fun time. Who would've thought? <laughs> Who would've thought that being sick with a fever is not fun? Um, but yeah. But the, the coughing, coughing is the worst part about this because I can't stream with like an acute cough and congestion and shit. So it's been hard. Hi Pan, thank you for the 71 months with your prime. That's all I got. He's alive. <laughs> That's all I have. Hi, Pan. Thank you for the 71 months. How are you doing? Are you, are you thriving? Are you s surviving? <clears throat> Still alive, but barely breathing. I, I keep talking. I'm going to be talking like that a lot, by the way. Like, I get this intense tickly, um, like, weird chest feeling, and it, I, like, lose my whole voice. You had COVID? <laughs> How did you get COVID? I'm guessing work, but that's awful. So I had strep while you had COVID? I thought I had COVID originally. I was scared. Montana's. Montana's? Thank you for the follow. Love and life for sure. I don't know which one's worse, to be honest. Montana's welcome in. I hope you're having a good day. Welcome to my sick stream. Um, I swear I'm I'm not as bad as I will be today, usually. <laughs> Everyone's sick. There's something going around here too. It's it's craziness. Okay, so <clears throat> I want to give people a little bit of a chance to come and say hi before I watch stuff. Um, I think we're gonna watch the Direct first for Nintendo. Let's make t-shirts. <laughs> I got McDonald's today. Also, Grams went to the store when she got McDonald's and got 
some Italian ice stuff. That should hopefully help me because my throat, my, m my glands were swollen a little bit. Mostly from like how much I was coughing, I think. Not actually because of like the strep, maybe because of the strep, but I was coughing so hard sometimes that it like actually hurt. It like sprain my throat. Crumble. I never had a crumble cookie. Oh, your first day back to work. When did you get sick? Did you get sick when I got sick? Probably after. I've been sick for a while. And I feel like COVID is like r pretty quick to get <laughs> over usually if you're vaccinated. But I wouldn't know because I haven't actually gotten it. You got it last week. What day? Did we get sick on the same day? My first day off last week was the day. Also, I have a, I, okay, so I want to know, my last stream before I got sick, which was Tuesday, was I coughing? Because Goto swears that I was coughing during that stream, and he remembers me coughing a little bit, but I don't remember coughing at all on Tuesday. I remember coughing a lot on Wednesday, that's when it was noticeable. But I don't remember coughing on Tuesday, but apparently I started getting it on Tuesday, and I just don't remember. Yeah, COVID's not fun. Graham's got COVID with the vaccination. I'm trying to take my time and level my characters in Genshin before Inazuma kicks my ass. Ooh, yeah. I'll have to ask Devi because I play games with her at the beginning. <laughs> Watch me eat my friends. Is that still my latest video? No, it's not. I made- okay, I did one YouTube video while I was gone, you guys. One. That's not the right one, though. It was the Esper game. My Esper game is my new one. I gotta fix this. Yeah, I, yeah, it's free, why not? Literally free to play, I would. I do, personally. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's me, a lot of me clearing my throat, so I'm sorry as well for that. I saw my husband when I redeemed my code. <laughs> oh, hi, Jordan. Do I need any- No, there's no mods. It's just the base game. <laughs> like, you thought we couldn't see him? <laughs> um, I forgot what I was gonna say. What was I gonna say? Oh, yeah. We're, Pan, we're gonna be watching for all well, everybody. So we're gonna be watching the Genshin 4.1 um, live letter today. So it's gonna have all the info and stuff on um, Risley and also uh, Novelette, as well as like then probably the new Archon quest and whatever else they're doing for 4.1. It's an hour and 20 minutes. So I'm expecting some really fun stuff in this uh because they're usually like 40 minutes for like a patch and this is a lot take notes in case i'm not here i'm i'm gonna be doing it third so i you yeah you might not be i figured i would do genshin last that way and then i would like maybe play a little bit of it if i'm feeling up to it by then so i was gonna save it for last so first we have a nintendo direct to watch because i'm very curious it's 40 minutes then there's a state of play which is also like, I think, around the same time, maybe a little bit less. And then Genshin. That Nova, a dumbass bitch. Hi, um, Montana's. Am I saying your name right? Ooh. Sorry. Smacking my microphone. How's it going? 
Welcome to the stream. I'm sick, so, um, I'm sorry if I cough in your ears. I'm gonna try not to. 30 for state of play? Yeah, I knew it was a little bit less. I just looked at all of them and I already forget. Um, as so far, the community has made Rizzly a himbo who demands attention. And Nova, a crybaby who makes storms if he doesn't get attention. Wait. Oh, you're not talking about your yourself when you said Nova? I thought I thought Nova meant themselves when I said Nova. I don't know who Nova is. Okay, you know what? Don't tell me anything else. Let's let's watch some stuff, you guys. Let's watch some some stuff. And also stop me from talking so much. Cause I really shouldn't be doing too much too much. Okay. Be quiet, music. I don't got time for you. No offense. I just don't. Rizzly can be whatever he wants to be as long as he loves me. After yesterday, I feel old. Did you have a birthday? Was it your birthday yesterday? Oh, you're calling oh, Novalette Nova. Okay. I was like, why are you calling him Nova for? It's not his name. It's Novalette. Oh, okay. Hold up. Okay, 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 okay. Is this too loud? Let me know. <gasps> Splatoon! Ooh, what the heck? Is this an expansion? Are we getting an expansion for Splatoon 3? What the heck? Yeah, oh my god. It's a horror game. <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh, it's so cute. What is going on? This seems like a cool campaign, whatever it is. They're green. I mean, it definitely, definitely is some kind of story mode. That's a name. Act. Act. What's that? A color chip? What is going on? <gasps> what the heck? What is this? What is happening? Oh my god, they just turned into a different color. Oh! Explo Splatoon 3 Expansion Pass. More for me to freaking buy, god freaking damn it. Side order. Okay. Okay. Hello, I see you, Splatoon. And I'll be your guide Great start. I love me a good Splatoon. You just Expan saw a new trailer for Wave Two of the Splatoon Three Expansion Pass DLC Side Order. Oh, that's the second wave. I forgot there was a first this one. Brand new story is set in the Spire of Order, where you will strengthen your character's abilities as you ascend the Spire's floors. We are developing this single-player DLC so it can be played over and over again. Okay. It's huge. In spring 2024. I wish I wasn't poor. Look forward to it. Okay, let's see our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. If these are, if half of these are ports, I'm gonna be upset. Toys are back in town. The internet gonna swallow her up so fast. <laughs> Donkey Kong. What is this? Mario. <clears throat> Mario vs. Don on the Game Boy Advance system reignites on the Nintendo Switch system. Oh, cute. With his eyes on the prize. Donkey Kong has stolen all the mini Mario toys from the factory. Mm. And it's up to Mario to track him down. Interesting. In each stage, contraptions and other challenges await. Observation I haven't played a Mario game in forever. <laughs> Mario needs to reach the key, but he can't quite cross the gap. Why? Hmm. 
<gasps> What's that? Mario's tail looks a little suspicious, though. <gasps> oh, it does. It does look suspicious. Now he can get across. Oh, that's why. Never mind. Not what I thought was gonna happen. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. Platform too high? Reach it with a handstand jump or a backflip, like that. I love a good backflip. This is why you feel old. Me too. Back in my day, there wasn't even a color in these games. Oh no. Throw the trash can, yes. Toad. That's cute. This is adorable. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo Wii Shop. So far, two for two. Great new stuff. Save the prince and the world. <clears throat> Have I seen this already? No. This is Prince of Persia. Oh. He sets off to save the prince oh of no, I have seen this. The world's okay, yeah, we've seen this from a different into the roots thing. Of the of Persia series. This it looks interesting. I would be real bad at it though. Dash through breathtaking Personally. Mythological Persian inspired world. But don't linger too long if you hope to survive. Hardest That's not Prince of Persia. It is. And they just say it was. As well as time powers to best these hostile lands. As your journey progresses, Sargon will grow stronger and learn new abilities that expand his arsenal. <laughs> Equip amulets to further boost your abilities. Sorry, guys. Among other perks. Forgot to pop. I forgot to mute. The number of amulets you can equip is limited, though, so choose wisely. Use everything at your disposal to navigate this harsh world and defeat mm. the mythical beasts that stand in your way. Okay. Get ready to save the prince and discover the mysteries of Malkath. When Prince of Persia, the lost Wait, so you don't play the Prince of, of Persia in Prince of Persia? You can receive the in-game warrior within outfit by pre-ordering <laughs> the game from Nintendo. I always Shop. thought the Prince of Persia was about the actual Prince of Persia. These games will help you chase your passions. Rev up um, for true arcade racing in okay. Horizon Chase 2. Not a Horizon Speed game for kids. Stunning environments, each with its own dynamic art style while overtaking your rivals. I find it very fascinating that people enjoy racing vehicles, games. Courses, and more. So much still in this day. Your vehicle and like some people only just like sport and racing game. games. Itching for more racing action? I feel like you would get so repetitive. Can put the pedal to the metal in but then again, what games online. aren't competitive nowadays? Full throttle in Horizon that are multiplayer. Two. Launching on Nintendo Switch later today. Also, I feel like you need like Warm to be really competitive. Musical mayhem in this rhythm-based adventure. What? Time your button presses with the music Ooh. to solve puzzles oh God. and battle bosses. That would be. Over that looks hard. Thrilling tracks await, including music from iconic Konami games. Oh, old school T to M. <clears throat> oh, I love the little raven. Jam together in local or online play. Super Crazy Rhythm Castle launches on Nintendo Switch November 14th. Pre-orders <coughs> begin today on Nintendo eShop. Mm. What the heck is that thing? Anya Forger has a new assignment from school. What the heck? Creating a photo diary. On weekdays, you'll head to class, then enjoy family time in the evenings. I like racing games like, you, you know, the Disney Speed stuff. Like the beach, Mario Kart, maybe museum, stuff like that. In search of subjects to photograph. Spy Family? How will you What's spend Spy? Your time oh, the anime. Family? And what kind of photo diary will you help Anya make? Spy Anya Operation Memories launches. Oh, is that why it's called Spy year? Anya? <laughs> I didn't know what that was. First RPG adventure returns. They already talked about this in the last direct. The Super didn't Mario they? RPG game is back with updated graphics. Yeah, we already knew about this, but it looks really cool. I'll features. say. Time your button presses with action commands to increase damage dealt or decrease damage received. When you time your attacks perfectly, you can now damage all enemies at once. <clears throat> Take my wallet. Every successful action command will fill this gauge. When it's full, you can unleash the three character triple move. Love that. Depending on your current party, the move will change. So experiment with different combos. 
It looks so cute and fun. During your adventure, you'll encounter a Mario Final Fantasy. I mean, this isn't this is an old game, the game that they remade. Some of them again. But these powered up bosses aren't going to be easy. Peach. Hi, Chris. Don't yell at me, Chris. Let Set me live my life. With Mario and friends. When Super <laughs> Mario RPG launches on the Nintendo Ooh. Switch system November 17th. Kind of soon. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Everyone's going to be playing that. That's your dad's favorite. Look alive. Who's <clears throat> there? What's this? The Nintendo DS game, Trace Memory, returns on the Nintendo Switch system as another code to memories. One day, a young girl named Ashley receives a letter Hi, from her she thought had passed away. You know, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> Chris is going to scold me. Solitary Blood Edward Island in search of him. Once there, Ooh, this Ashley looks pretty. encounters puzzles and obstacles that hinder her investigation. Oh. Okay. <laughs> This looks fun. I want this one, you guys. Can you see me? I saw fucking. She ghost. also meets a mysterious boy. <laughs> this is a fucking god. What truths await Ashley in this place? And no matter how hard I try, I can't remember Dad's face. Oh, that sucks. Who are you? The sequel, another Stranger code Danger. R. Journey into lost memories. Previously, I want to play this game. In North America is also included. So this is like Juliet, huh? Play both games to experience the full story. Unravel both adventures. It's a collection. Re Re collection. Sorry, not a collection. Code, recollection launches um, January nineteenth. Pre-orders begin today. Cute. That's so cute. Pokemon XD, yeah, they do. Two games, the game Trace Memory, and its Wii sequel, which was never released in North America. Oh, never released in North America. On Nintendo Switch. Please look forward to playing them early next year. Next, please take a look at this. I would like to say that Jordan told me that there there, there wasn't that much in, interesting stuff in this direct, but I've been very happy so far. What is going on? One day. A loyal toad presented a flyer advertising a show at the Sparkle Theater. What? <laughs> what is happening? Princess Peach and some toads went to go see it, but then. Wait. Is Peach gonna have her own game? The wicked grape and the sour bunch suddenly made their grand entrance and took center stage. Now it's up to Peach and the theater's guardian Stella Aww. to save the play and the day. Oh my god, Peach has her own game. This perfect performance has become a terrible tragedy. Luckily, Peach can use the power of Stella's ribbon to face off. Oh, wait, Bunch. what? Her ribbon? <laughs> the ribbon alone won't always cut it, though. So let's do this. What's happening? Oh, she's Cinderella. Whoa, Peach transforms oh. into Swordfire Peach. <laughs> oh, what the heck? She can use fantastic show-stopping abilities. Fend off the sour Oh my God, Peach is a badass. I love that for her. Save this performance and its performers. There are more stolen shows to save. This looks so cute and fun. Have gone missing. Become detective Peach. Oh my god, she's a detective. And track down who this is it. great. I love this for her. She Desserts never gets to be the main character. The sweets festival. Turn into patissier Peach and save it from a sugar crash. Cake. The sour bunch got their hands on this martial arts school. Become Kung Fu Peach and take it back from these foul fiends. Uh, what the heck? Many other transformations are just behind the curtain. The stage I want to play this one too. Lady lady is ready for the spotlight. Yeah, she is. 
Princess Peach Showtime makes its debut on Nintendo Switch. That's a while from now. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. That was a new look at Princess Peach Showtime. In Peach's latest adventure, the gameplay changes depending on her transformations. It looks like there are more transformations beyond the ones we showed today, so please stay tuned. Let's continue with some more headlines. A new saga begins. Yeah, I would like I would just like everyone to know before we continue. Jordan said and uh, for the Nintendo Direct, he said there are two to three games I think you will like, and that the state of play in the state of play wasn't gonna be even as good. So I would just like to say that's the receipts, and you were wrong, sir. There are six heroes to choose from. A young man. You have to think Mario movie for. The year of Mario, true. I guess a that's true. Disguised as a schoolgirl to mask her identity. A crime fighting duo chasing Sorry. down a mysterious organization. A songstress. She isn't a damsel, a she's a badass. Never said you are that's good. Good you didn't. Who was recently reawakened. Select a hero, <clears throat> then follow their journey through 17 interconnected worlds as they strive to achieve. This seems goals. interesting. How the story unfolds is in your hands. I don't know if I like the style of this game. Different paths, more than ever before seen in the Saga franchise. Fight in timeline battles, turn-based combat in Why which is our turn order is crucial to victory. Use special techniques Bad to graphics. the order of action. I just, the style is kind of weird for me. Team combos to swing the tide of battle in your favor. Saga Emerald Beyond launches on Nintendo Switch. I mean, Switch teach their own, have fun, year. but eh, not my thing. Cat companions are great. The legendary Raider returns. <gasps> well, I never played the original the Tomb Raider games. Tomb Raider games. Oh. Upgraded visuals are oh. Oh. Nintendo Switch <gasps> in one daring collection. <laughs> oh. I've never played these. Travel the world oh my god, wait. I need to get these. I have to play them. I've only ever played like the re like the 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 re the not the remakes but like the new gen. You will die. What the heck? Along the way, you'll solve puzzles to uncover treasures of the ancient world and unravel mysteries. I want to play them. The ravages of time. This faithfully remastered trilogy comes with all of the expansions and secret levels for each game. You can also toggle between the original polygon look. And the upgraded visuals at any oh, time. you can you can go back to the OG Two Polygon. Remastered, starring Lara Croft, it's hard, but I still Nintendo want to play Switch it. System, February 14th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. But I like Tomb Raider. This detective's <gasps> got a second bolt of brilliance. Somebody buy me this game so I can stream it. <laughs> <laughs> Every great detective starts their day early. I am so happy this voice acting. A place where humans by the way, and Pokemon coexist. The detective duo of Pikachu and his partner Tim. Good old Tim. Investigate various cases. Not the dad being exactly the same model, but with a stash. Oh, Applin! Sorry. <clears throat> Pikachu interviews Pokemon, and they find the truth together. They'll also rely Low on Pokemon to and broaden Blossom the scope of their investigation. The he's, all, sense with he's, all, he's sniffing. Smash rocks with Darmanitan. Love that for Darmanitan. Peer through Ooh, walls Luxray. with Luxray. Oh, not the X-ray version. Can't I love Applin. What do you mean? The mysteries and Mewtwo? Find, Harry? find out when Detective Pikachu returns. Launches on Nintendo Switch. Nintendo really said if next year is going to last, it, if last, if next year is going last year of original Switch, then original Switch going out with a bang. I took this direct told me as me yes, Switch Two is coming. The original Switch is going to be out with Legendary Library and Gaming History. I can't see them making another Switch. I don't know. That's just me though. But how you play that horn is up to you.
you can use gyro controls to adjust the pitch up and down. Or the IR motion camera on the right Joy-Con controller. The controls are pretty unique, and mastering every control scheme won't be a walk in the park. Honk your way through nearly 50 songs spanning various genres, from classical to electronica and everything in between. Plus, up to four musicians can band together in local multiplayer. <laughs> I can't. This is so weird. To Nintendo Switch later today. You can. I love. I do love Appleton. He's my favorite. In these Nintendo Switch games. What the heck is this? Ten teams of three will duke it out for survival in this oh, it's a MOBA. battle royale brawler. You've lost me already. Knock your opponent's health down to zero and deliver a finishing blow. Not Hercules. Or shove him off the collapsing terrain to win. Choose from 15 heroes, each inspired by a different mythology. I haven't seen DDR in a very Work long time as well. To be the last team standing. Battle Crush is <clears throat> I'm sorry, but if I'm going to play a MOBA, I'm just going to play Pokemon on Unite. Switch, that's spring. that's a that's all I'm willing to do. This October. <laughs> Lead your mercenaries to fame and fortune in this open world. Oh no, and I'm gonna get in trouble for saying Pokemon Unite. Contracts from protecting townsfolk from thieves to vanquishing the land's most notorious figures. Before battle, listen, I will. Your mercenaries with the best gear and skills to claim victory. Fire and emblem. Did you mean emblem? Four players online can jointly command a troop and journey together across this vast world. Interesting. Launches as a timed console exclusive on Nintendo Switch. Later. There's something today. about any game with um the sti the the style where you're In looking up. What's it called? Beloved NES classic Contra. Don't know what that is. What is it called? Top down. There's something about top down style games. I just don't like them. I don't like the point of view of top top down style. I don't know why. This reimagining from Konami I'm just on a fan. Way forward features new weapons, enemies, powerful super attacks, and yeah, four kind of, yeah. Mode. Like Contra, that that um Operation zombie Omega, game that I wanted to play that was top down. I was like, eh. liberate your kingdom, reclaim your destiny. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> which speaks of Feverth, I did play GameCube and that's like not really top down though. And stolen nations. Yet as the world stands consumed by immense This is a Jordan game, I see this for him. Shall rise again. I don't know what this is though. That girl on the right seems like a badass. That oh. is the ring of the unicorn, ancestral treasure of Cornea's royal lineage. Legend speaks of your ancestors wielding it to purify evil. Yet the answer is clear as day this seems now. A really complicated. Bare, and all that remains now is to Very wait. unique style. Will, I'll give them that. But there's kind of a lot happening. Traverse an expansive world. Gather new allies. No, I don't like this. Bonds, and lead the liberation to glory. This looks like it could be well, very well done, but army with over 60 unique characters. I don't know. Humans and elves to massive beasts. And heavenly angels. Today, angels foray into the mists of despair which hang heavy over our home. It may take days, months, of cooking, or even mining. Years. Is there fishing? I shall see the duties of my blood. If there's fishing, I'll consider it. Atlas and Vanillaware present the rebirth of tactical fantasy RPGs. With what? Unicorn Overlord. <laughs> Available March 8th, 2024. <laughs> Not it being called Unicorn Overlord. Ooh, what's this? I already like it. Oh, oh Luigi's Mansion 2? I don't know. But like Luigi? Luigi Mansion? Honda, like, what's up? Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. I want this! Evershade Valley. A place that's screaming and teeming with the supernatural. I loved Luigi's Mansion. Luigi, our faint of heart hero, was sent here to check it out. 
Time for some Wait, so is this supposed to be a sequel of the original remake of Luigi's Mansion on Switch then? No right? It, it must be. The is complete without this vacuum-like device, the Poltergust. The Poltergust. Use it to light up dark areas, vacuum up objects, and interact. Do you think this is going to be out by October? It's a tool for your paranormal escapades. You've only played three. Oh, hi, Fiend, when by the way. I'm ghost, sorry, I didn't even get to say hi to you. Pop, you can pop goes a weasel, bitch. Ball. Then vacuum them up. You can even grab multiple ghosts at once. This does seem very different than the first game for Switch. In this game, you'll find ghosts haunting, a former plant research lab, a broken down clock factory that's full of sand, though. a mine covered in ice and snow, Ooh. and even more places. This would be a great Spooktober, a cute little Spooktober game. Trick in the <gasps> to block oh, your path. puppy. Oh, spider, no. Looking for other ghost hunters? Up to four players online can do some exercise across different multiplayer exercise. modes. Exercise. <coughs> Luigi's Mansion 2 HD creeps onto Nintendo Switch next summer. Ah, I knew it wasn't coming out anytime soon. Okay, so not this Spooktober. Well, next next Spooktober. First. Please take a look at this video. Okay, what Mario shit is this? A lot of Mario happening. That's a giant that? question. It's a large yeah. question block. Actually, this question block currently appears on the roof of the previously announced Nintendo Gallery that's under construction in Uji City, Kyoto Prefecture. What does that mean? The official name of this gallery will be the Nintendo Museum. They're making a Nintendo Museum? At the Nintendo Museum, a wide variety of Nintendo <coughs> products from the company's history will be displayed. Cute. I mean, it's in, like, Japan, well, though, so... And we plan to finish up by March 2024. We'll share more information, such as the opening date, at another time. Yeah, how much is going to be Mario? There's got to be a lot of Pokemon in there, you know? Next, we'd like to share some updates on upcoming Amiibo figures. Amiibo? The Zelda, Zelda. And Ganondorf Amiibo figures. Guys, another game that I haven't been able to play. Tears of the Kingdom. And Amiibo figures of no I would love to go to Japan, but I'm so bored. <laughs> I want to go to Japan. Japan. On January 19th, 2024. And finally, we have a new Amiibo figure to announce. The DLC fighter from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Sora from <gasps> Kingdom Hearts, is on the way. With the Sora? release of Sora, everyone is here from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in Amiibo form. Please look forward Sora to Sora Amiibo! Oh, I love that. That's all for today's Amiibo announcements. Next, please take a look I don't know what Amiibos do. What happened? What the hell is this? This is some old... This seems like an old game that Jordan probably played back in the day. Returns as a 99 player battle royale. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> F -Zero 99. Is this like the Tetris 99 situation? With machines from the original Super NES game. That's crazy. Tear through courses in high speed races. But be careful. Your power meter will decrease if you crash into pilots or guardrails. If it hits zero, you're out. Oh shit. You need to avoid collisions and conserve your power meter to stay in the race. It seems like the kind of thing my dad would have played. Feeling risky? Spend some of your power meter for a temporary speed boost. You can also collect super sparks, which appear when machines collide. Emulators. To boost Chris remembers this game. The Skyway. It's your best chance oh my of bypassing God. your rivals and jumping into a higher position. Love that for you. Complete goals while you're racing. Yeah, it seems kind of um cosmetic options for your machine. I won't say demonic, but it looks intense. Seems like a lot happening. Ninety-nine players, one winner. It's time to That's race crazy. your way to first place. 
because F Couldn't be me. will be available exclusively for active Nintendo Switch <coughs> online members later today. More than 30 years after its original release, Thirty is back as a battle royale game. This that title game's also older than the me. Super NES controller available exclusively for Nintendo Switch Online members. How do they sell something to? And aim for first place. Okay, first of all, that's really okay, cute. Let's continue. But second of all, how does that exclusively for Nintendo members? What the fuck? One little hero, one humongous problem. Oh no, it's the Smurfs, but in furry Welcome form. To Vandal City, oh, it's so cute though. Land oh, it's adorable. Fuzzy beings called Yordles. Yordles. It gets a little too wild. The portals holding the land together. Wait, did that just say a League of Legends story? Everything into chaos. It's up to you and your knitting magic to stitch Vandal City back together. Why is that so cute? Across the land to gather materials and craft Yordle. items and meals for the locals. This seems As you continue adorable. gathering and crafting, you can weave together new upgrades by unlocking more branches of the skill tree. Why is it gonna be illegal? Experience even further fishing. By on quests and There's fishing. Oh. <clears throat> Hi Kyle, thank you for the 7 month resub. This direct was Mario heavy. <coughs> you might not like it, but that is smart using that Mario hype because of the movie. I enjoy Mario. I don't get to actually play Mario games often, but like I enjoy Mario. Casually. Community. Can you say Not Vandal Warframe. City? And what mysteries will you discover during This looks really cute. Adventure? I'm not gonna lie. Vandal Tale, a League of Legends story. The Launch fact that it's League though. Switch next year. Wait, did you hear that? Join best friends Nunu and Willem on a journey across the frozen wilds of the Frel Is this also a League of Legends story? <laughs> Just saying. Your way but this looks cute. And treacherous land. Where every step taken and each puzzle solved Ooh. will bring you closer to the truth about these friends. Oh, he's so oh, they're adorable. Past. I like him. I knew it. A League of Legends story. I knew it. On the Switch system, no I think I saw this on Epic. Begin today on Nintendo eShop. That's adorable. Let's move into formation. Oh my God, is this Warrior Warrior Wear? Is this freaking Warrior Wear? What is this? I feel like it's. I feel like it is. This tropical resort contains Maybe not. Of micro games that'll get your body moving. No, it is. And it must be. You get into a specific pose I played the Wario Wear on the Wii. Copy the form shown, then perform the correct action as quick as you can. Hand model. Hand model. That's crazy. The micro games will come one after another, so look alive. <clears throat> wow. Plus, up to four players can battle it out in party mode. I remember when I went to Cape Cod with my cousins, we would play WarriorWare. I brought, I brought, I brought like my Switch, or maybe they had a Switch. I don't remember. Settle the score in an arena to be the last one posing. With over 200 lightning fast micro games, fishing player modes are plenty. Everyone's in for a wacky time. Wario Wear Move It yeah. launches on the Nintendo Switch system. I thought so. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. A heroic tale will soon unfold. I don't know what this is either. How are there so many RPGs? Lead an army of over 100 heroes into battle and put an end to an empire's invasion. I don't know how to say that. I I a what? Meet Noah, a humble villager. Noah. With a Save W. An officer from the Empire, <laughs> Jordan game. Marissa, <laughs> this time he said it. These <clears throat> three band together to fight for a common goal. On their journey, they'll meet a variety of heroes who can join their cause. Shark people. This is your home base, known as the headquarters. Original. As join you, additional facilities will become available. Oh, I love that. I You'll love stuff like that, actually. Crops, open shops, and more. Each hero you I love games where the environment changes based off of your play. 
They may not always get you along know what I mean? first, but these conflicts may strengthen the bonds between your heroes. Trust. The graphics, though, are not the best. Justice and for me. Truth. A heroic tale will begin. When Why does it look so slow? It looks laggy. Is it laggy or is it just the editing? I can't tell. Participate in some pixel perfect play. Hmm? Next stop, Octopia. Travel Sorry. to a charming parallel. Oh, Chucklefish. DLC for Eastward. Help Sam and I don't know what this game is. Of a new chapter as they adjust to country life in a mountainside village. Okay. Tend to livestock. Whip up culinary delights for your neighbors. And restore buildings to help the village thrive. Hmm. And if you're new to Eastward, don't worry. You can access the DLC even if you haven't played the main story. Well, that's Eastward, good. Octopia features on to Nintendo Switch this it's holiday. Very interesting. I know he would like the Mario, I don't know, Luigi and Bandle. I love... In this sequel to War Groove, charge across More three tactical campaigns with valiant factions. You've seen one RPG, you've seen them all. The they can afford the graphics. Plus, you can now supercharge your commander's groove. Yeah, this this one's not for me. Attacks. Lead a roguelike offensive in conquest mode. Are they all mice? No. Battle Never mind. Friends locally or online. I saw Palmon from Digimon in there, I'm just saying. She's right there. <laughs> Sorry. War Groove 2 marches onto Nintendo Switch as a console exclusive October 5th. Get out of my way! Jesus. Begin today on Nintendo eShop. <gasps> Ooh, it's underwater. What's this? Dive Giant blue hole. By day. <gasps> Then serve them as sushi by night. No! Adventure, Dave the Diver. No, I got so excited for a minute. Use the fish you've caught to concoct recipes and create the day's menu. Then tend to the clamoring customers at your sushi restaurant. Explore an ever-changing underwater world to find the best ingredients and strive to exceed culinary Oh my god, he's a merman. <laughs> <laughs> the diver launches first for I got excited, but then I realized I have to kill everything. I don't like that part. A free demo, swim onto Nintendo e -shop a narwhal! Narwhal. Narwhal. The final wave is racing in. I can't believe we're still doing Here's Mario Kart. Peak at wave six, and the like wave how? The Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC. From the Mario Kart Wii game, Daisy Circuit. I had New that one. Are also being added in wave six. From oh, Mario Diddy, Kart Kong. Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong. Whoa, fun Kong. not Funky Kong. Forgot about that, dude. That's crazy. And from the Mario Kart Pauline. Pauline. <laughs> what the heck? That's and hilarious. Peachette. Who else did they add in the other waves? Six of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course I don't even know. DLC for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game drives onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Active Nintendo okay. Switch Online Love that for them. expansion pack members can enjoy this DLC at no additional I never cost. played Dave the, the, the Diver, no. The DLC can also be purchased on its own. PD, Kemic, Wiggler, Birdo, did Toadette. Something new is among us. <laughs> what? Is a, is Among Us coming on the Switch? Did they not have Among Us on the Switch? Wait, what is this trailer? I'm confused. I'm scared. Is what's happening? What is going on? What the fuck is this? New map maybe? Spores. Uh -oh. oh no. Ah. Yikes. <laughs> A new map. Wow. Well, okay. I mean, at least they're doing stuff. 
That's cool. The fungal. Welcome to the fungal. <laughs> Launches this October. Okay, cool. I don't know if it's gonna get me excited about the game again Thanks compared to Goose Goose Duck, far. but hi Jezraya. Hello, up, I am like like some of the mostly previously announced Nintendo titles you can look forward to playing from September onwards. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's the same game with the new map, you know. Uh guys, I wanna play the DLC for Pokemon. I have it, but I've been too sick. That looks fun too. Then the other Mario stuff. I'm not gonna play it today because I'm trying to take it easy. So I'm trying to just watch stuff today. I'll probably play it tomorrow though. And see how far I get. Looking forward to these upcoming titles. <clears throat> this next video will be our last announcement. There's more. Let's take a look. What is this? What is happening? It's more Mario. <laughs> what the heck? What is happening? Paper Mario? Oh my god, people are gonna go insane. People loved Paper Mario. Is this. Have we never had a Paper Mario remake before? Or is this like. The Thousand Year Door. How many Paper Mario games were there? I don't... No, they definitely had a different Paper Mario remake already, right? Too many. I'm sure people are going to be real excited about it. Okay, as happy as I am for the Mario fans of the world, I want remakes to more Pokemon games, personally. You know what I mean? Okay, interesting. Oh, you want color slash here? <clears throat> what the hell? Oh my god. I mean, it looks cute. Wait, this is the Thousand Year Doors, the worst Paper Mario game? What? <laughs> yeah, Kyle, I heard you streamed while I've been sick. What is happening? The computer's in love with Peach. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, originally released on Nintendo GameCube, will return with enhanced graphics. Whether you played the original or have yet to play it, we hope you look forward to experiencing this adventure in a paper world Hi, Lux. starring Mario and friends. I will teach you how to stream, you never asked. Thank you for watching. Um, you missed the whole thing, Lux. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm sorry to tell you, it literally just ended. Oop, don't do that. Okay, we need to go back here to State of Play. That was a really good direct, I think. There wasn't a lot of, like, just them plugging things in to Switch that we were, like, from other games. That was a little bit, but not a lot. At least they were all, like, new things, you know? Or, like, remakes of old games. So, I'm glad for that. <laughs> I think all I think that was one of the better directs that they've had, personally. But yeah, some really good games. A lot of Mario, but like, I'm happy with it. That was good. That was some good stuff. I'm 
So now we're going to watch the state of play from yesterday. Yeah, Jordan lies. He said this was bad too, so let's see how it actually is. Oh. Is this the man that can't use his legs? I feel like it's the man that can't... This is the guy that can't use his legs, right? Ew. Yeah, it's the... It, yep. Look it up. Yep. Yep. It's the guy that can't use his legs. This game looks so stupid. But so funny. Laughing makes me cough more. Is this louder? Okay. Hold on, this might be too loud. Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> I've been coughing plenty. Is it Jack Black? Oh, that sucks. That's not Jack Black. How do these controls right. work? Post. Post. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Tree. Yeah. The commentary, though. <sighs> oh, What's wrong with this man? Mate, are you okay? Oh. You look sad. Oh, hey, Mike. No, no, no. no. That's sad. I was just taking a break from my run. So, road's out. Yeah, road's out, but no um, worry. <clears throat> grapple point. Oh, grapple See? point. Oh, I'll just grapple. I'll grapple it. Yeah, just grapple with a grappling hook. Oh, yeah, I'll just grapple that fucker with my grappling hook. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> just grapple that fucker. Oh, I'll just grapple that fucker. Yeah, good. All right. Well, Salada. Oh, <laughs> this game is so dumb. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> I don't know where my... Oh, this is... I really want this man to fall. I want to see it. <laughs> Baby steps. This is actually... <laughs> this is brilliant. I'm sorry, this is a masterpiece. Hi, I'm Sean Benson. Here at PlayStation, our team is always on the lookout for creative, inspiring, and original games to bring to PlayStation players around the world. I love that for you. We are constantly canvassing game development studios as we search for the next exciting idea. And as you just saw, Baby Steps is a great example of the innovative spirit that we're looking mind. for. In I today's do. state of play, we've got a <clears throat> wide variety of games to share with you. My hope is that these demonstrate the diversity of experiences coming to PlayStation consoles and PSVR 2. On that note, Not I'm very excited to welcome PlayStation players to Roblox. This infinite oh variety of 3D immersive experiences is making the jump to PS4 on October 10th. Roblox features full <sighs> cross-platform support. They gotta make their money, so right? 66 million daily active users across PC, mobile, and other platforms. We that, can't wait for you to lot of millions of people. experiences together and to see what you create. All right, let's dive in. Starting with a look at two great games coming to PlayStation VR 2. Oh. These always make me mad because I don't have VR stuff. Ghostbusters in VR? Welcome to the Ghostbusters. You might be new here, but we have I won't be a Ghostbuster! The city isn't going to save itself. So get geared up and join the team. Because working together... Go, go, go! Hope you the part. ...will give you the best chance. We got this. Luckily, you'll have access to the latest ghost-busting gadgets, if you can earn them. We're talking turrets, shields, decoys, and so much more. I have a Ghostbusters game on Epic Games that I got for free that I keep meaning to play for Spooky Bird, but I never do. Anything before you'll be ready to take on the Ghost Lord. Jesus. Also, is this too loud, guys? Of the Ghost Lord. Oh yeah, and these guys, mini puffs, they can be a real pain in the. What is Cobalt Blue? It's not okay. It feels way louder than the last. What's this? 
Is this a Resident Evil game? <sighs> Maybe not Resident Evil. I can't tell. I don't know what this is. No fucking way. Capcom. What the hell is this? Wait, this is actually Resident Evil? I was right? Wow, I'm so impressed with myself. Think you can swallow me whole, huh? That's what he said. I think I have the old games. Oh no, Kyle, don't tell him that. He hates that game. This is also one. Resident, wait a minute. President's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. I'm seeing increased movement from Los Illuminados. What's up with the field of view here? Copy. Ada out. What terrible actions will be done in its name? And who will pay its dark cost? I don't know you- wait, you play as Ada in these games too? Fine, Lewis. I didn't know that. Fetch me the Amber. Have you changed, Ada? Or are you just trying to use me again? Because in this world, someone always pays. She's kind of a badass. Someone who needs my help. Best not to ask who or why. She has a grapple. It's Separate what I researched for all these years, Ada. And I see the symptoms already showing in your eyes. <gasps> oh, that wasn't a VR thing. That was just a regular game. I think it's a free update. Oh wow. Wait, she's infected? Is that is that what I missed? Ada has like the infection. Dinosaurs! Is this Arc Age? Oh, it's the Owl, oh, it's Avatar. What the heck? They make they have an actual Avatar game? I am not me. Now, you are what I made you! Shut up, dumb white man. Sorry. I was abducted by the RDA and trained in their ways. They already made an, a game? For 15 what? years. What? When? They kept me from my world and my people. Wait. You have the mark. You are Soren the poor child knows nothing of our ways. Oh, I didn't remember seeing it. This the, the graphics look really good. I must seek those who can teach me the ways of the Natvi. What is and help me reconnect with my world? I'm very curious. Follow me. I won't hurt you. No. Parkour? Oh wow. Okay. You are starting to think like a Nazi. Now we will teach you to ride like one. This looks kind of cool. Is under attack again. I'd play this. <gasps> yes, there's archery. Okay, now I know I have to play. Now I have to play it. I will not allow the RDA to destroy this land. This is my home. Yes, bitch. Get that mother trucker. Yes. Look at her go. She got a freaking rocket launcher. <laughs> fight on your side against the RDA. Wow. Yeah, I'd play this. It looks cool. And I will protect Pandora. Sivako. Love that. December. Okay. That's nice. That was good. We need him, Connor. What's this? We need him stronger. Connor? It's not supposed to meet. What the hell is this? Faster. 
Harder shaft, faster shot. What? This is Ubisoft. It looks like Ubisoft, but what is it? More vicious than ever. Is this the Terminator? Like, what is happening? <laughs> I don't know what this is. Ghost Runner Two. Oh, I don't know what that is. Ghost Runner. Okay. Out of out of my wheelhouse. Oh, I was like, what is this game? It's not a game, it's an advertisement. Oh, they're getting real extra with these, aren't they? Wait, I have one. Mine's very basic, though. Oh, it's red. Oh my god. Are they coming in different colors now? Is that what, is that, is that what this is? Yeah, red, blue. If they don't have an orange, I don't care. That's the same. That's the one I have. <laughs> That's the white one. Good for them. Deep Earth Collection. Console covers. Oh, so it's just you put it on the. Star Wars. I thought I saw Star Wars. This is Hi. Star Wars. I'm you, I'm no, it's not. CEO oh my god, I thought... Director at Arrowhead Game Studios. I thought that was Star Wars. Today, I'm pleased to share an extended <laughs> look at Helldivers 2. Sorry. We're starting on the that ship's is silver. bridge, uh... preparing to select our mission from the Galactic oh, War man. Map. Once cleared for mission engagement, it's time to go into your hell pod and prepare for planet fall. Yeah, it did look like Battlefront. That's today, what I was thinking about. Today, we join the squad on one of the many planets in the galaxy. Set on an important mission to I still haven't played the, the, the new Jedi Biden game. Titan. I don't know how my boy my boy did. You know? Okay, we need to find the Terminate Bile Titan. Uh, I think it's this way. Look, some enemies here. Okay, I'm covering you on the right. We're covering you here. I don't know what's happening. Looks oh, there's loads of them. I'm you have the for... first battlefront. I had the oh, second oh, one, God, and I think I, oh, I, died. I tried to play it, but um, I don't know what happened. Oof. I have to run. I don't like whatever that is. That's gross. All right, I'm back. Can you guys take him out with the recoilers? <laughs> yeah, I'll try to take him down for the slide. Reload the armor my, uh, looks like Star Wars stuff. On I'm it. Jesus. Oh, there's a charger here. I'm gonna this take like a lot. commander. He's, he's charging me. I've played my take PS5 charger, six times. Right. Press. Get good, fam. Play nice. Final Fantasy 16. I'm gonna have to cross <laughs> a little bit. There are a lot of them coming. My guard dog is taking care of. I bet Jordan didn't oh, oh. finish 16 either. Did you, guys. Jordan? Ah! Oh no, you killed me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> One small You should have it. It's so good. Reinforcing. It's such a good game. I know you already like saw me play it anyways, but... Okay, should we do it was something? So good. Should we strategize? I'm, I'm drawing his attention. Alright, I don't think I have an option. We need to throw in the 500 kilogram bomb. I'm throwing it out. Oh god, uh, he's coming for me. Getting out of the way. There okay, we go. Okay, there we good go. Job. Nice. What the good job, guys. Well done, Helldivers. Another win for Super Earth. After each Callie? successful mission, Sorry. players are rewarded for their efforts, allowing them to upgrade their ship, okay, yeah, that is kind of weapons, expensive. armor, and strategies, giving them the edge in the many battles to come. I guess I it's easy for me to say people should play it because and the I didn't pay for offer. mine. <laughs> now go out there and spread managed democracy. I've played many games on my PS5. To each their own, not my thing, but go pop off, guys. Oh! This is what I've been waiting for. 
I, I, I need it. I need it. I need it. This is Brian Intahar, Senior Creative Director at Insomniac I Games. can't wait! Thank you for all of your amazing feedback <laughs> to our me. demo at the showcase earlier this year. Uh, Marvel Spider-Man 2 uh, is filled with an amazing story and story missions. But today I'm here to provide you with a first look at how the open world experience is evolving and how the game is built to take full advantage of the PlayStation 5. Hmm. The first thing you'll notice is that our city has nearly doubled in size with the addition of two iconic New York boroughs, Queens and Brooklyn. And we've introduced the web wings, an entirely new mechanic that, when combined with web swinging, allows you to traverse the city in a whole new way and at faster speeds than ever before. Whether I'm it's so the neighborhood excited. backdrop of Queens or the fireworks that light up the sky of Coney Island, so pretty. exploring these areas will feel much different than the towering skyscrapers of Manhattan, while also delivering memorable locales like Peter Parker's old stomping grounds in Midtown High and Miles Morales' current place of learning, Broken Visions Academy. Hey Miles, uh, what's up? Speaking of our heroes, wait. Marvel Spider-Man 2 will introduce yeah. the ability to switch between the two wall crawlers in the open world. Ooh. And, thanks to the power of the PlayStation 5, you can make that switch almost instantly. Oh my god, it's just like GTA! So bigger city and playing with not one, but two <laughs> spider heroes were big goals for Marvel Spider-Man 2. But this time around, so it was cool. equally important to provide a greater sense of exploration and discovery. As you progress through the main story, a number of new activities and storylines will become available. Oh, this the is the, that's the stuff that I love about the first game. visual cues in the world that grab your attention, such as a flock of Kraven's Talon drones circling a building, a mysterious symbol projected into the sky, Mysterio? and an unfamiliar <laughs> spider bot ping emitting from one of the rooftops. Many activities, like the hunter's cloaked blinds that overlook the Big Apple, lead to even greater oh, challenges, yet yield worthy rewards and new information about Marvel's greatest hunter, Kraven. Kraven. Others will lead to a climactic showdown with Marvel villains not yet seen in the Spider-Man universe. Oh, man. The Spider-Heroes have new AR tech in the lenses of their masks. I'm so excited. A glimpse of Me with Harry? Or help Sorry. Or new ones yet to be revealed. You can always refer to the upgraded Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man app to quickly track nearby areas of interest. The app will also include incoming requests from those who call Marvel's New York home. Some will ask for either Spider Hero to help, while others, like the students of Brooklyn Visions calling upon Miles, will require you to put on the mask of a specific hero. All these activities, okay. including crime to stop from the game's various enemy factions. <gasps> awesome oh my god, they have all the old stuff with the... Hello? Why did it go quiet? Oh no, did I break? Are we... Am I okay? Marvel's New York home. That's so rude. They cut the audio. All these activities, including crime to stop from the games. There's no audio for this like portion. Will require you to put on the mask of a specific hero. All these activities, including crime to stop from the game's various enemy factions, also now feed into the new district. That's so rude. I don't know what. <laughs> I I can't hear. There's no audio. Oh my god, now we have to like pretend to know what's happening. How dare they? Okay, they're talk I think they're talking about flips and tricks. I blame YouTube. Quick so oh wait. Hold you know what? You're so right. Where are the subtitles? Hold on. Let's see. Okay, okay, we're good. Um Did they cut off the subtitles for this too? With no audio? That's so rude. There's no uh, subtitles. Imagine. Probably because they get the subtitles from the audio, so there can't be, like, both. They're talking about the gadgets and the abilities and stuff. Oh, oh my god, look at him. Look at Miles, I'm so proud of him. I would play this and I hate Marvel. Spider-Man! You, you can't not like Spider-Man. Oh, it's back. On behalf of Insomniac Games, we couldn't be more excited about what this expanded city has to offer. I'm excited and all the new too. ways you'll experience Marvel's New York. We look forward to seeing you swinging around in Marvel's Spider-Man 2 when it launches October 20th, only on PlayStation 5. It comes out during Spooktober. It's okay though, because I'm going to be poor anyways. I'll have to wait to get it. <laughs> Deadpool. But X Men. I want an X Men game. What happened to Wolverine? I've been waiting for the Marvel's Wolverine that they like teased forever ago. One year has passed since the end of the great conflict between great. Dana and Rena. 
Huh? Pretty. What is this? Very pretty. Very fantasy. So, Jordan game. Jordan continues. <laughs> there she is. Don't let her get away. After her. The gang's all here. The hell she Listen, did? I love She's a action. monster. Man. The truth is that people will always doubt. Hate. Yeah, I don't know what this chance. is. This is Tales of Arise? Oh, I, I have seen this on Steam. Yes, I do believe it is another RPG. I heard Tales of Arise was actually must be erased. decent. Once there are no differences, there will be... Is this like a DLC of Tales of Arise? I Tales of Arise look like one of the ones that I would actually. Oh, <gasps> sorry. What we call destiny. Oh, this is neither visible. This is Honkai. Yet it it's Honkai. Oh, Honkai is coming to PS5. I present. forgot. I called out to you, and you came. Hi, Kafka. The future. Hi, mom. Is like a labyrinth. What the heck is that? Every divergence is merely an inducement. This is gonna be spoilery for me, I can tell you. What's that char who's the character on their team? I mean that's Don Hung with horns. By the way, no idea what this is about. I don't know what happened to Don Hung. You and I'm scared. Are each but other's destiny. Who are the other? I don't know these other characters at all. Hey, Ben Vegas, having a great time? I hope you're all ready for the Foam Stars Open Beta Party. Foam Stars? Hi, Nova. The Fantastic. I'm. Um, oh, really? Party. Okay. Cool. What's your favorite part about Tales of Arise, though? What's what is it about that game that's good? The or what would you say is the best part? Two insanely fun game modes. The black Smash mic. the star. Mike, we should play this. Should we? <laughs> should we? Defeat the star player to win. This seems like a lot. Happy bat survival. Dominate the arena in teams of two with support from your allies on the <laughs> outside. I'm not sure I understand what's happening. <laughs> Hi, Molly. How are you? Bitch. Slurp, slurp. Yeah, it kind of gives me Splatoon vibes. I'll only like a little bit. <laughs> Jet Justice. Mel T. Mel T. What a drag name. Raid Breaker. Penguin. Pen Gwen. <laughs> Barely alive, but I am here. We'll see you at the Foam Stars Open Beta Party. That seems interesting. It's Square Enix. Okay. We've been having a blast with Foam Stars, and we can't wait for you to get your hands on it. The Open Beta kicks I'm off fine. later this month. Before we wrap up, Square Enix has one more update for us today. <gasps> Square hard does. Hard work on Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, <gasps> the ambitious follow-up to the critically acclaimed Final Fantasy VII Remake. Let's see what's in store for one of next year's most anticipated games. I'm I'm feeling better, but the hold on. The world's ending. I, I gotta. At least that's what everyone's saying. The sky. I don't like it. Ready to fire, sir. Welcome to the new world order. Fire! Oh, that's a big cannon. Just close your eyes and listen. Tell me you can't hear that. Her rallying cry. Oh my god, Tifa, yes, get it. Hit and everything on it dies. We can overcome our fate. Am I the same as these monsters? What the frick Am is that? I even human? Mm, okay, me. we're looking for Sephiroth. Think you can find him? Oh! <laughs> what the heck is that? So you Who's that? Too, did you? Oh, what has happened? 
As you can see, your brothers down there are having a little get together. What is that? They're our best chance of finding suffering. What? Yeah, I ask because I suspect they're soldiers suffering from cellular degradation. Do not be deceived. That was Kate you said. Know the truth. Trust in me. Um. Come on. Yuffie! Okay, Kate looks way better in this game than in 14. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that out there. Oh, they're all to get. What the heck was? What was that? What is happening? Oh my God, Chocobo racing! What is this? Sock and boppers? Excuse me. Could you look after my friend just for a bit? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> oh no, it's Organization Thirteen. A weapon? Tutelary creatures. Said only to appear when the planet is in grave danger. Who dares vampire? My slumber. I said vampire. It's upon us. The reunion. When worlds merge. I'm waiting, Cloud. I can't wait. I still need to play the other game though. Two discs. <laughs> <laughs> Two discs. We hope you enjoyed that new look at Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. It's coming to PlayStation 5 on February 29th. And that's all for State of Play. Thanks for watching. February 29th, and we'll see you, next you guys. Time. This was a very fun time. Once again, Jordan was wrong. It was much better than I, than it, I was expecting it to be. I love these suits. Go, monkey. He looks so good. And I'll be honest, after the Miles Morales game, I was a little skeptical. Because, you know, it felt like I was playing a DLC. And not like a full game. But, you know, a good shit. <laughs> so we watched Nintendo Direct. It was great. We watched this. This was great. Great stuff all around so far. I'm just saying. Um, yeah, I need to play Integrade too. A good birthday gift for yourself. Uh, I don't know who Vincent is, guys. I never played Seven, other than the remake. So I don't know like any of these other characters. I know who Zach is because of Kingdom Hearts. Um. No, we're not done yet, because there's one more thing that I have to watch. So, Genshin 4.1 special program was today. And... and... No, I don't know who Vincent is. I'm sorry. I'm nervous, you guys. I'm... I'm real scared. <clears throat> okay. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Spoiler warning for Genshin, if you haven't done 4.0 yet, like Kiwi, run! Run for your life! Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna watch this and, oh my god, it's an hour and 20 minutes.
Fontaine's just so pretty. Wait, I don't remember the Statue of the Seven. Do I? Wait a minute. Oh, heck no, they're not adding a new place. Tell me they're already adding a new area. I'm not ready. Uh, Genshin Impact has now been around for a considerable length of time. I can't read with you, man. I can't read with you. Can we get a translator? Third anniversary. I feel like they're not going to give us good rewards for the anniversary. They never do. Oh boy. Oh my god, here it comes. Okay, trailer time! What's with the mug shots? Are we in jail? The fortress of Meripede may seem like a prison, but it should in fact be regarded as a gathering place for exiles. I will arrange false charges against you so that you may secretly investigate inside the fortress. The truth is, this place has a lot of hidden rules. Child? Was that child? All of our informants, including the ones that had infiltrated no. the guards, suddenly vanished. Who's talking to me? Something Who's bad will that? happen during lunch on the third day. A mysterious box? A bottle of crimson liquid? <gasps> oh, look, it's Rizzly! So, you know those pipes that make oh strange my God. sounds? Don't ever, ever go near them at night. Sooner or later, all will pay the price for their arrogance. He said sock and boppers, you guys. Holy shit. <laughs> look at him go. Get a little chilly. He's a Time's badass. Up. Negotiations have broken down. Please leave, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, underwater <gasps> underwater area. He does have <gasps> a plan. What could it be? After being away from the underwater area, so long, I even know. the terrifying Maybe not. depths of the sea start to feel like home. This is pretty though. We're getting a new uh, area already. I have to. I'm not ready for that. Have we entered into the next stage of the prophecy? Whose voice is that? Is that and now the right another hand catastrophe will soon be right. upon us? I mourn this turn of events. Okay, it is her. Wait, no, that's another lad. He said hydro pump. Holy I shit. I find it difficult to express my emotions because I cannot fully understand myself. I'm confident that we'll find the meaning of our existence one day. Rumors saying that you were born from calamity. You inherently bring danger to those around you. Why should we trust this species from who knows where anyway? Melazines can't be trusted. That goes for Nervalette too. There's hydro cannon, hydro pump, whatever. Mind. Only innocent. through bloodshed can the debt be repaid. Risley, where did you take my siblings? Even if the truth may not be pleasant, since they have no way to dispose That's of a the unicorn. remains, they have ways to That's a freaking unicorn. And keep them in the fortress forever. It beggars believe just how carefree you have been. From the very beginning, you, the, the, boss, the new boss is already, though? To take action. Oh, it's her! Oh, is this shit. what justice means to you? Answer me, Nubilet! The dads are fighting. You will see much in the human world, from the delightful to the depressing. Nubilet, what are you doing? And one day, when you have dwelt among humanity long enough, you will be placed to bring judgment over all as a spokesperson for Fontaine's past. It is unnecessary to hold me in such high regard. T 
to the stars shining in the depths. That was crazy. Oh my god. That trailer. This, this is a little loud though. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> what a good trailer for the version. <laughs> Hail the combat designer. Mm-hmm. Storylines, I can't read them to you guys because I. What do you mean? Torn fiend. Meanwhile,看到这里的时候，我就在想啊，被审判的可是愚人中的执行官啊，怎么看也不是一件小事。愚人中应该不会坐视不管吧？是不是会有新的执行官因此登场呢？大卫哥很敏锐啊，没错，
，然后故意卖出自己的破绽，让敌人觉得有机可乘，之后啊，在危机时一发逆转，玩弄敌人。大卫哥的描述可真是生动形象啊！他的战斗方式与他的处事风格可谓十分的相似。I don't want to stay sick。莱欧斯利也非常擅长调度资源，在合成武器突破数材时，莱欧斯利也有一定概率会获得。Ooh, I love those kinds of skills。这位公爵大人可真是多才多艺，管理战斗样样精通，真是太厉害了。没错，不过虽然莱欧斯利做事很有一套手段，但梅洛比德堡毕竟是建立在枫丹的水下。常年见不到阳光，在监狱的阴暗角落里，依然会有邪恶在滋生。在四点一版本中，莱欧斯利的传说人物手艺也将上线。女性的战斗不同，自行了解。A word of advice: Don't break the law. Oh, is there anything else? Uh, yeah, seriously, don't break the law. Okay. A moment, please. Wow. Ooh. He looks so cool. Novelette. Somewhere similarly fluvial. I stand this man. I think I was gonna like him as much as I ended up liking him. Silence. You tell him. Be sanctified. Hydro cannon, apparently. Wild. 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 I'm telling you, he gotta be a dragon. He gotta. He's the hydro dragon. He must be. Excuse me, that was a burp. Because everyone is very respected. Lavelite, as the hydro dragon, 比如，他会尽量避免与他人有私交，以及有流程外的协作，防止被人怀疑司法体系的不公。他对自己的要求啊，可真严格啊！不愧是最高审判官，严明律己啊！没错，不过这位最高审判官也没大家想象的那么严肃罢了。他其实也是有自己的爱好和生活的，比如拉维莱特就有一个品水的爱好。Water tasting. His type, his hobby is water tasting. Sorry, I take off. 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 其实也有对私的一面，他十分喜爱美露星，认为他们是一个善良美丽的种族。嗯、oh. ，拉维莱特甚至在枫丹法规中加入了一条巧妙的法律，对美露星的称呼必须使用人格意味的他，而不能用他。哦、oh. ，没想到这位。He said you better use their pronouns correctly. 不过美露星确实十分可爱，我十分理解他的行为。其实还有一支直接隶属于最高审判官的特别刑侦机构——足影庭。绝大多数雇员都是由美露星组成的，这倒不是因为纳维莱特偏心，因为美露星。I've seen so much fan art of him with the little otters in the ocean. Like people are thinking like he was one at some point because they have similar aesthetics. You haven't been to Fontaine yet? It's beautiful. It's everything. New story quests. We're gonna have. So much content once again for 4.1. I haven't finished exploring all Fontaine yet. I bet he is. Look at him. Charge attack. Oh, he is he floating too? He fly. 
AoE hydro damage all opponents in a straight line area in front of him. The higher his HP, the more... Oh, he's an HP damage man, you guys. What do the droplets do? Oh, restoring his own HP. He restores his own HP. Underwater sprint speed will be increased. <gasps> So we can go faster in the water with him on our team? Ah! I love that. Yes, tell us about the wishes. We want to know when we're spending money. <laughs> Novelette in Hu Tao! Okay. We're pulling on no Novelette first. I got 60 plus wishes. And then... Ooh, Rizli's phase two. These goddamn freaking five stars, I swear to god. I swear to god. Give us some good four stars. What? Wait. Oh my god, look at the weapons. What the heck? Oh, oh. Okay. Interesting. I don't, don't worry, Ron. I don't blame you. Is this the last thing that I'm watching? Yes. Yes, it is. I saved this for last because it was the most important to me personally. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Ah, oh, rude. I was thinking I really wanted to play some Genshin too, happy but anniversary, Genshin I probably Pat. shouldn't. Erica Harlicker, voice of Venti here, wishing you a happy anniversary. Me and a few of my fellow voice actors have decided to celebrate by sharing some Genshin-inspired treats. I'll be making a Mondstadt-inspired twist on an autumn classic, an apple cider float. The best part about this recipe is that it doesn't need any fancy kitchen <laughs> gadgets, so just get rid of those. All you need is a good saucepan and the ingredients listed here. If you're a I younger traveler, I'm make bad. sure there's an adult around to help you with this, okay? First, let's prepare wow. our spices. Okay, Start bye. by zesting your orange. Next, pour your favorite non-alcoholic apple cider non into a medium saucepan. If you don't have cider, unsweetened apple juice works just as well. Then toss in your spices along with the orange zest and set your stove to medium high. Once it starts to bubble, reduce to medium low and let it simmer for 15 minutes. When you can smell the aroma of warm spices, take it off the heat and remove your spices with a fine mesh strainer <laughs> and leave it to sit Kyle. for another 10 minutes or until just warm enough to handle. Then pour into your favorite heat safe cup. On its own, this is a drink worth singing praises, but we're going to add a scoop of vanilla ice cream, a dollop Ooh. of whipped cream and fresh grated cinnamon, lifting it to new heights. We're using vanilla ice cream, but if you really want to let your Mondstadt spirit soar, you're free to use other flavors like cinnamon, pecan, chai spice, or even pandan. What's that? Light and creamy, sweet and spiced. This float is a duet of duality. Mmm, that's good. Is she drinking it right Happy now? Happy anniversary, Genshin Impact! That What's an me. anniversary party without some warm, gooey, cheesy goodness? Hey folks, I'm Damon Mills, the voice of Linny. And I'm Inares Quinones, the voice of Lynette. Today, we'll be celebrating with a classic, Brie en Croute. Don't let the fancy name fool you. This dish is surprisingly easy to make. All you need is some brie, store-bought puff pastry, and your favorite fillings. Guys. We'll be using bacon, walnuts, I'm and sorry. apricots for ours. I'm skipping. I'm skipping this. The food stuff. <laughs> Have it in me. And brand new environments to explore. Oh no! Guys, why would they do this to me? I'm not done exploring yet. <laughs> There's already new areas. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. I didn't think it would be this fast. More fish to catch. Oh boy. Yeah, I thought we were going to get this in the, the original version, but. Uh, 
The Old Fontaine Research Institute Central Laboratory. I'm going to have to try to explore as much as possible before this comes out, and I'm not ready. How do you get up there? It's pretty cool, though. I gotta say, it's kind of cool. Dilapidated. It's like an only. I haven't played. I haven't. I haven't played only up. But I have seen gameplay. That game looks wild. Lushing so pretty. I'm not even reading the freaking subtitles because I'm too busy looking at the environment. New boss, experimental fuel generator. Oh no. Oh no. You want Jordan to redeem something for me to play now while I'm sickly? It's not going to be a good time. That's up to him. He does the ground pound. Frost operatives and wind operatives. What the heck? Underwater. <coughs> This is huge. Like the prison. Holy crap. They live like... No, oh, that's so pretty. Being 还有一处制造着各种机关的工作。Hold on, what? I was saying you should, you want him to redeem it now while I'm so sick. When you're feeling better, okay. I'll make sure it happens before October. <laughs> That's for sure. 
，在梅洛彼得堡附近也有不少可以自由探索的区域。这里，我向旅行者们介绍一处很隐蔽的水下洞穴，<咳>此处被史基矿所影响，产生了奇异的生态景象、哦。旅行者在蝉藤中穿梭时，会遇到不小的挑战哦。哎，这非常符合我对水下世界的幻想，各种神秘的区域和奇异的植被啊。总能激发我的探索欲望。不过，在这片，你们没丢点 November？ 想必。Then why did you redeem it now？ 大伟哥猜的没错，矗立在远海一种顶端的另一。Oh, it's a seahorse. It looks like a unicorn. Actually, it looks like a Kingdra if it was an electric type. Okay, you know what? I do kind of see it now. Wait, we have to fight this underwater? Wait. No, we don't. Never mind. I got scared. This thing looks interesting. Two hundred thirty-three feet ago. So we can do it back to back. Oh my god. Now, after that much content, I think you will get a bit tired. Let's take a break. 接下来啊，我们还邀请了其他研发组的同学为我们带来更多的内容分享。各位旅行者，不要走开哦。Happy anniversary, Genshin Impact. I'm Brittany Cox, or as you might know me, the princess and herself, Fischl. With me are my loyal subjects, Ben Pronsky, voice of Oz. I'm sorry, I I just really don't. Wait, what is that? The Prince Cup? Sorry. 欢迎大家回到《原神》四等一版本的前瞻特别节目。Oh, she looks elegant. Look at her. 三周年之际，李月也迎来一场盛大的活动。啊，我们李伟的设计师也应邀来到了节目现场，为我们介绍新版本丰富多彩的活动内容。来和大家打个招呼吧。大卫哥和屏幕前的旅行者们，大家晚上好。我是系统设计师 Helen， 很高兴又和大家见面了，很荣幸为大家介绍新版本的活动。Helen， 听说这次在梨月举办的活动和往年不太一样啊，要不你先来为我们介绍一下？确实有些与众不同，不知道大伟哥还记不记得今年海灯节的那场饭局？当然记得，就是那场胡桃做东，温迪和钟离均有出席啊，甚至连降魔大圣萧都在场的饭局吧？那可真是藏龙卧虎。没错。这个饭局的许多细节都让人会心一笑，也让温迪和黎月的众人相识。胡桃和温迪还做下了承诺，将来有空一起写诗。这不，正巧让他们逮到一个机会，由胡桃与温迪牵头，在石门附近举行了两国合办的诗歌大会，交流诗歌的同时，促进两国关系和谐友善发展。希望在诗歌中让大家感受节日的氛围。啊！我当时以为他们只是开玩笑而已，没想到他们来真的、啊。不过，温迪作为吟游诗人，他的创作水平应该相当高啊。而胡桃的打油诗也独具一格嘛。不仅仅是他们，还有来自黎月和蒙德的其他伙伴也一起参加了大会，十分热闹。不过，在活动期间发生了一件奇异的事。身为参赛者的重云提出，自己之前见到了一个类似妖邪的东西。于是，众人在参加大会的同时，也开始探寻起了事件的真相。诗歌大会举办的那么隆重，想必与之相关的活动也很丰富吧？这次，我们为旅行者们准备了三个特色活动玩法 ：Waterborne Poetry（ 灵感喷击）和巡警密话。在百步理智玩法中，旅行者可以投出掷剑，在限定时间内<咳>用掷剑尽可能多的命中熔壶。从而获得更高的积分。在挑战的过程中，会出现礼环和妙壶。We're just, we're just breaking pots. 通过投掷的之间穿过礼环，击中熔壶，即可获得双倍积分。Interesting. 妙壶则可以改变掷剑的投掷频率，帮助旅行者更高效的完成挑战。That's what I got this from. 第二个活动是挑战玩法——灵感喷击。But I hate it. I eat kind of early. So I'll probably eat after I stream. Sometimes 
造成巨大伤害。Yeah. 如果能灵活运用灵感结晶的冲击波，或许能轻松打倒这类敌人。寻景密画则是一个通过拍照来寻找缺失景物的玩法。根据提示，旅行者需要帮助画作修复师通过拍照修复画作。Oh, that's cute, actually. 在拍照时，将画片与当前景物对照，寻找画片上缺失的景物。找到后，即可将对应景物记录下来，并获得奖励。在本次有水运诗集活动中，旅行者们可以参与三个活动挑战，提升诗歌会热度，从而获取专属四星法器、无影蓝之光及其专属精炼道具等丰富奖励。这次的活动还真是丰富啊，尤其是……你们两个搞这个 for no reason？ 让我想起了小时候经常玩的这个头壶游戏。这次啊，我也可以在游戏中体验一把了。是啊。She was like, "If you think you can handle it, don't push yourself." I was like, "Yeah, I'll be short. It'll be fine." Let's have a good time together. 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 Wait a minute. Are we gonna have a fishing event? Yeah, I had strap. <laughs> Dodo Ko's bombastic adventure. What is this? Also, hi, Matt. Ooh, have fun with Paleo. I need to get on there and claim that stuff. There's so many things I need to play that I haven't been able to play since I got sick. I feel so behind. All my games got updates. Pokemon, well, Genshin technically kinda not really, but Paleo, Disney Dreamlight -like、Valley, it's like too many, too many updates. No, that's Mono. <laughs> Radiant Harvest. Ooh. Okay. No, it was the it was I blame my cousins. The little children came over after they went to Boston for a Labor Day weekend, came to my house, and then I got sick right after. So I blame them and my mother. What is this? That seems easy enough. I'm probably gonna do a Genshin stream ASAP, but tomorrow I really want to do Pokemon. I need Pokemon in my life. Hello, Xander. Another sick, sickly person. Except I didn't get dizzy. So, oh my God, are there new? Cards again for Genshin. I'm so behind. How dare? Yeah, I want to. If as as long as I'm able, I want to do Pokemon tomorrow. Hard work team members gave us so many fun events. I'm so excited. 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 一些原本看起来合理的前期和常规设计，如今却成为了旅行者们体验中的痛点。因此，我们在 4.1 版本对前期的内容设计做了部分调整。首先，我们加强了一些突破任务的提示。What's happening？ 在旅行者们的派蒙见面和冒险手册向导页，都增加了相应的引导。在突破任务中，我们缩短了地城的通关耗时。移除了部分高难度敌人，哦，来帮助新手旅行者更好的完成突破任务。这个好，其实啊，当初我第一次做突破任务时啊，确实用了挺长的时间啊。这次的调整啊，应该能帮助到不少的旅行者。Interesting. Oh, wait, daily commissions? What are they doing? 游戏内还有大量玩法等着旅行者体验。哦，因此。
Adventure Encounter System. Travelers can obtain an encounter by completing quests, opening treasure chests, participating in events. So apart, ah, wait. So apart from the rewards by completing the daily commissions, you'll also be exchanged accumulative encounter points for commission rewards. Oh, oh, well that's good. That's so much better. I love that for us. Nice. Oh, guy. I haven't been able to do my Honkai stuff because I've been sick. Why are you upside down? Yeah, Redlocks, GG's. It's gonna look really good on PS5, yeah. <clears throat> <gasps> what are you doing? Mystery rewards? They're not going to be good. Enough. I can already tell. Give us free wishes. Another check in event? Okay. 1,600 Primo gems? It's not bad. 同时，我们还会通过邮件的形式为旅行者们额外奉上总共一千六百元石和四个脆弱。I think they should just give us wishes, but although there is a wish right there. That's really cute. Whatever it is, I do love a free pet companion thing.在四点一版本更新后，游戏内商城的首充双倍状态也将会重置。具体信息，旅行者们可以留意官方后续的相关公告。好耶！ <笑> <笑>相信大家已经和我一样十分期待四点一百本的到来了那接下来了那么多的活动啊屏幕前的大家不妨稍作休息接下来啊还有更多有趣的内容后面我们再跟大家分享我们再跟大家分享我们再跟大家分享
Is there? Yes, there is a main story. They compiled data. 最后，我之前所想的内容还不太一样。那这些数据背后是不是有什么故事啊？大伟哥猜对了，每个数字背后啊，都有着原神研发团队持续的付出和深厚的感情。接下来就让我们看看第一组数据吧。哇哦，一千多万啊，这可是个大数字啊 ！Michael， 这个数字是什么意思啊？这个数字其实是原神研发以来。我们的 IP 团队在游戏内外创作的叙事文本总字数。我们游戏中的提瓦特大陆是一个架空世界，这里汇聚了各种文化、创意、艺术。They do a pretty good job with world building in this game. 原神 IP 创作团队的同学以自身热情与才华，铸就了一个个鲜活生动的角色，编织了一个个扣人心弦的故事，构建了一个宏大精美的世界。细心的旅行者可能会发现，在游戏中处处充满着细节。随意拾取的一本书籍，不经意间获取的武器，副本中掉落的圣遗物，他们的背后甚至也有属于自己的精彩故事。Lots of lore in this game. 其实，为了把一个架空世界填满的足够有真实感，光靠游戏内的文本是不够的。在许多内容呈现给旅行者之前 ，IP 团队就要先行构思几个版本。甚至几年后的概念设定，对于一些要向美术策划、海外本地化团队表达的设定，也需要。I think I wore too heavy of clothes today. 以供参考。因此，在游戏内所呈现的内容，大概也只是浮在创作海洋的一角冰山。确实啊，这个数字不仅是代表一场游戏的这个制作啊，更是一次文化的积淀，一次创意的盛宴。当然，海量的文本创作。也只是《原神》内容的其中一个侧写。下面这个数字看起来可小多了，但它也是我们和旅行者一路走来的证明之一呢。How? How? What do you mean? In seventy-four? What? 七十四，比起第一个数字啊，这个数字是有点小的。哎，不对不对 ，Michael， 你说这是我们跟旅行者一路走来的见证，那它一定是一个随着版本累积下来的数字，对不对？大伟哥已经快要猜到了。其实啊，这是直到 4.1 版本为止，包括刚才我的同事介绍的纳维莱。Oh, that's the number of char playable characters. Dang. 没想到啊，在不知不觉间啊，我们已经邂逅了那么多。That's a lot of playable characters. I have all of them so far. 游戏中新主题的角色确实被大家津津乐道。没错，一个引人入胜的开放世界，角色是必不可少的。原神中的每一个角色都有着独特的背景故事和情感世界。通过对话、剧情和任务呈现，旅行者能够更加深刻地了解角色。Barbara is so precious. We never get Barbara in anything. I realize. Like she's never been, she hasn't been in any events in a while. I think. 此外，角色也是构成游戏中战斗体验的重要一环。每个角色都拥有独特的战斗技能和神之眼元素，这不仅丰富了游戏的战斗策略，也为旅行者们提供了更多的选择和挑战。呃，正因为这些角色伙伴啊，才让提瓦特大陆的世界增色不少，使得游戏啊不仅仅是简单的战斗和探索，更像是一场情感丰富的冒险之旅。哎，那么让我们看看下一个数据吧。Wait, what's the question? 我觉得自己是肯定猜不出来的 ，Michael， 快为我们公布答案吧。其实这个数字还有一个单位，二百一十五 G， 它指的是截止四点一版本游戏内所有最高精度倍数的资源总量。二百一十五 G 啊，这个大小是。The guy that I'm currently maining. Michael， 你给我们讲讲背后的故事吧。可能大多数旅行者不太能判断这个数字所代表的工作量。原神是一个依赖大陆渲染、营造幻想氛围的游戏。My favorite, you mean? 几乎所有的写实类素材，包括照片修改的贴图、真人动画、动画，都是没有办法直接应用到游戏中的。这二百一十五 G 的美术资源是《原神》的原画师、建模师、动画师、特效师等同学们经过精心构思或实地取材，然后重新亲手制作出来的
He is, yeah, he's my favorite. My number one. Ganyu's my number two. Navia is quickly becoming one of my top four. I cannot wait for her to come out. She is a queen. I hate having to wait for her. But I think she's in a, I think she's gonna be top three actually. She's gonna be in my top three favorites, I can tell. That is true, it was huge. Yeah, I didn't have enough space to update Genshin on my laptop. <laughs> I had to like clear shit out. 99.53 million. Every time he says my name in his in like Korean, I I'm like that's what it sounds like. Excuse <coughs> me. Followers. Followers. <coughs> 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 No slacking off. There's a lot of people watching. Four billion? Four billion what? The views that Genshin Impact's official videos have received over 4 billion. Wow. That's crazy. Four-billion? <laughs> 既然已经到了这个环节的最后我就不卖关子了开服至今原神官方每个版本都会举行相关的视频二创活动这个数字是目前全网参与的总人数迄今为止已经达到了一千一百五十万了嗯有趣的是啊这个大数字啊一点都不
A concert. I would totally go to one of these concerts. Wait, where are they? Hold on. Any where where what's the close? Oh, they're having one in Boston. <laughs> I want to go to the Genshin concert in Boston. Oh my god, I have to tell Godo immediately. The Mercedes-Benz Arena. I wonder when they'll be in Boston. Oh, look at the art, it's so cute. Have I heard from Goro? Yes, he's in Vegas. So he's uh, having his best life right now, hopefully. But he woke up at like 3 a.m. because he's like three hours behind. <laughs> His concert's tonight. Actually, he should be going to or maybe at the concert already. So I hope it's good. Michael. He better sing. I can't imagine him singing in front of strangers. It doesn't seem very him. <laughs> he did go to a show last night, though. There was a man in a tub um, hanging from... I don't know what it was. It wasn't rope. It was like black... Ribbon or something. It was interesting. He sent me some snaps. And he was in those like comedy thing. Looked like a good time. I'm also half expecting him to come back and be sick somehow. I'm putting that out in the universe. If it happens. I said it first. I just have this like feeling, you know. Let's check it out. I love music, stuff like this. This is so impressive. Oh my god, imagine being able to play the violin. I could never. Grandma Kelly watches, um, America's Got Talent, and there was this one violinist. They were crazy. They were going so ham, they were breaking their strings and shit during the performance. I don't think I could. I couldn't play an instrument. <laughs> I don't have them. I don't have the talent. Don't have the breath for that. Don't have the brain to memorize strings and how to do. Like you have to remember how to do things when you play an instrument. And my mind would never be able to do that at this point. I'm too busted. I'll be the guy doing the the rowing on the boat. The trumpet, or is it the tuba? Which one's this that he has? That one seems like the easiest because it's only like three. <laughs> it's to McDicks. What, what do you mean it's to McDicks? That has nothing to do with it. I could play the electric triangle, maybe. Oh. They have a dancer. She looks she looks very ballroom. My brain has been busted way before the McDonald's, let's be honest. Look at this girl over here with her one hand.
Such good music. Look at the harps. Imagine being a kid and... I, I, I wonder what it's like to be the parents of a child that's like, Mom, Dad, I'm gonna play the harp. And then they have to go buy, like, a harp or something for their house. So they can, like, actually play it and get good at it. How expensive do you think a harp is? If that's my question. I'm aware of what a trumpet is. Oh, oh wait, because I asked if it was a trumpet or a... Yeah. I thought it was a trumpet. I just wasn't sure. But again, I don't have the breath for that. I couldn't do the trumpet. My breath control is awful. I think my next character that I write about is going to be a harpist. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. I just wrote a character who is a professional harpist. They look so expensive. Harps. That was beautiful. You played the trombone? I played the flute. And I was awful. I couldn't make sound. But I was sick and I missed a lot. So I never really got good, like, better. <laughs> Grandma Kelly is going to start going crazy soon. She's a little paranoid about whatever remnants we get of the hurricane this weekend. Ace reporter on the case. Oh boy. Happy anniversary, Genshin Impact! That scared me. This is Maya Aoki Tuttle reporting. Of course, you might know me as Charlotte, Ace Reporter. Charlotte. And with the upcoming anniversary, I've decided to put my journalistic skills to the test. Oh boy. And what better way than to get the scoop on the voice I did a guy who played an instrument. <laughs> what the Therefore, heck? Therefore, Ace Reporter Maya is Thousands of case. dollars for with a heart. are my co-hosts, Damon Mills and Inaris Kinones. Greetings. Hey, everybody. The world of Tavat sports a diverse cast, so let's hear about what all the talent has to say. For those that live too long, the friends of days gone by and scenes from their adventures live on in their memories. As such, I have no regrets in meeting you, friend. Aww. Should the day ever come that we are not together, you will continue to shine like gold in my memories. Hello, everyone. My name is Keith Silverstein. I voice the Geo Archon Zhongli. Happy anniversary, Genshin Impact. I want to take a second to thank everyone who had a part in bringing Genshin Impact to life. And I mean everyone. Uh, no matter how Wait, large what? or small your role in bringing this game to life has been. And that includes the entire Genshin Piano. Impact how community, expensive are which pianos? is amazing that I could even just say that. It's a very special thing when a game comes out and is so popular that an entire community is born alongside it. And so long as it's bringing this much joy to the world, long may it rain. Aww. Hi, I'm Alejandro Saab, and I am the voice of Yes, Sino I know. I love Alejandro. Do you have an anniversary message you'd like to He's share? He's so, I'd like to thank so the talented. <laughs> no, I'm all no, serious. Um, I'm grateful to be a part of this game. He and, also voices uh, one of the characters in Hong Kong. I've been a fan, and this last year, getting to be a part of it was. Oh, he voices super, Hawk Maw. Like, just. In the Mirai. Why do you know super, that? <laughs> I, I, I'm at a loss for words because. Isn't it, a kid's show? I know was the character when I first saw him in the Tavat trailer. I was like, dang, I'd really like to play that guy. That'd be so cool. And it, it, it happened. And it. He's just a humble just VTuber so cool. that voice acts, you know? I, we love that for him. It just makes me really happy again to the opportunity to be this of guy. Of course you do, Lux. Uh, everybody <laughs> thinks I've been saying terrible jokes now because of Sino, but that's not true. I started saying terrible jokes because of my partner and uh, my friends around me. I could say one right now. Uh, bye. Uh, hello, I'm Sean Dury, and I play Baiju. <gasps> Dr. Do you have Baiju. an anniversary message you'd like to share? 
Well, happy anniversary Dang. to Genshin Impact. And Piano's I just want to thank everyone who has been playing the game and enjoying the game. That's really why we make it, uh, so you can have fun playing it. So I thank mean, you so much for being true. a part of it. My favorite Genshin memory of the past year was Baiju. The Pokemon's for everyone, actually, character. so no. That was so exciting to go from someone you kind of stopped in and chatted with for a second to someone who is going on a quest and saving the day. So that's absolutely my favorite memory of the past. Yeah, Doctor Baiju has been a thing since the game came out, hey there, and my name is just Nazi became Tarsha, playable. And I play all so. hate them in Genshin Impact. What is your favorite story from the past year? The infamous traitor, traitor, Azar, anger scene that All Hate Them has, uh, just because it was really fun seeing the reception to that. And it was very fun recording, you know? It's All Hate Them is very reserved, Not very kind violence. of to himself. So having this one moment where he breaks character, putting on an act, of course, but still, like, showing more emotion than anyone has ever seen him do was very fun to kind of go into. In terms of the game, the thing that I want to say is congratulations for going, you know, three plus years strong. The the world that they've managed to build is nothing short of impressive. And also seeing the sort of fans' admiration toward the game is, you know, nothing short of delightful, really, because there is just such an enthusiasm and such a passion with the fan base. So seeing this sort of relationship between the two is endearing and the fact that I get to you know kind of share in both of these experiences is awesome hey what's up I'm <gasps> Zach Gordon Zachary I'm Gordon what a man if I have I love him. one anniversary message it's I can't wait till the next year and the year after that and I hope to be around for uh, as long as we all enjoy the game so thank you what is something you like or admire about your character? He's only been Tainari for like how many months One thing months that, now? if I may say so myself, I, I feel like we worked really hard to do well, was his ability to care about Kale. And, and I think that a lot of people that really know what they believe in and, and feel that they're very intelligent, quote unquote, I think sometimes the ego can get in the way of that. Mm. And one thing that I really admire about Tainari is that... He's smart but humble. He's able to put that aside and, and really focus on what matters, which is being able to articulate and, and translate what he knows and pass it on to uh, a student or an apprentice, somebody like Yeah, Kale. Zachary Gordon. And so I think to sum it all up, compassion. He's, I think Tainari he's is not, a very he don't compassionate got a deep voice. individual. No. We certainly tried our best to infuse that into the role. My name is Ben Balmaceda. I voice Kave. He did. He wasn't the original like to share? voice for him, though. After seeing Genshin when it first came out, I had no doubt that it was going to be something special and it was going to stand the test <clears> of time. <throat> There's so much potential to be had in Tevat and like so many new people to meet and, and places to explore and travel to. The game's just a gem, and like, as far as people that have helped me get this far, like, I just want to thank all my friends that are part of the cast, all the Sumeru, I love, Krumeru, I love that, um, and also to all the, fans. the voice actors like, are been so like lovely friends, and you know? welcoming, and it's such a lovely community. Them playing Among Us it's is so just funny. It's been a wonderful journey, and I hope that it continues uh, far past the horizon. What's up? My name is Patrick Pedraza. I'm the voice of Scaramouche, the Balladeer, Wanderer, Hackguy. Hackguy! Yes! Well, I love Hackguy. Three years. Hi, man, Mikey. I'm feeling okay. How are you? <clears throat> I have me. no idea what the future's gonna bring for the game, for me, but I'm just. Like, I don't wanna You are too wholesome. Cliche, it makes me I'm sick. I'm really Who? super grateful to be part of this. What me? is your favorite story from the past year? Oh, my favorite, my favorite scene, oh gosh, there's so many. Uh, it's like the boss battle. The When I first saw the boss battle yes, when I was doing you. the session, I was like, this is going to be insane. And the the boss battle theme, I am who oh I am. my gosh, that was just like insane. The story looks epic, like it does, like, yeah. Oh my gosh, I saw the end and then <clears> Scaramouche <throat> just goes straight on his head, uh. looking right at you. Poof. Yeah, <laughs> that was kind of sad. I wonder if Karina's in this. Yeah, that's my favorite one. Karina voices Paimon. Hi, I'm Anyatko. I voice Raiden Shogun, and A, and Makoto, Makoto, and a handful of NPCs. 
<laughs> I can't believe that Genshin Impact has Handful been going on strong for three years, and we've got plenty more to go. I'm so excited oh, for same. what the future Me too. holds for Tevat. I am just starting to explore Fontaine and getting through the Fontaine Archon Quest, and it is so, so much fun so far. And I just really want to thank the fans, all of the travelers who have been on this journey with us for I'm the fine. past three years. None of this would mean anything without you guys. So thank you for playing. Thank you for loving this game. What's one of your favorite character lines? Okay, I get asked this a lot. And the answer is the about Ito line. Oh. Who? I just think it's so <laughs> funny how in one word you get to know exactly what Raiden Shogun thinks of the one and only Harataki Ito. Who? That That's funny. I didn't know that. That fails to make me laugh. Hi, my name is Kimberly Ann Campbell, and I'm the voice of Nahida, the Dendro Archon in Genshin Impact. What was your favorite memory of the past year? Um, okay, so there are a lot, and no surprise, there are a lot to do with Nahida. But I would say that one of my favorite memories from last year would have to be when Nahida's trailer dropped. She has two trailers, but the one in particular that comes to mind is the one where she's going through her birthday over and over again. And it starts mm. off as happy, and then it's like, oh, okay, it's still kind of happy, but then it gets You can really hear the like, her, like, really depressing affection in her voice, like, though. a really sad video, it was like... Super like she definitely well changes her voice, but you like, can. Oh gosh, she has so that hint sad. of something and, like, very seeing unique. Everybody's reactions to it, like that's I've sex. watched like a ton of reactions from like sense. streamers, YouTubers. It was like just amazing to see everybody's <laughs> reaction to it. I could not wait for it to come out. I'm glad it turned out as well as it did. Well, there you have it, folks. Straight from the mouths of some of our favorite characters. It's. <clears throat> Isn't there someone you've forgotten? Two someones, to be exact. Oh, oh, mm. oh, oh I, I was totally about to get to you guys, I swear. Right, that's what I thought. Mm. Can you give us a short intro? My name is Damon Mills, and I voice Linny, the greatest magician in all Tevat. Is there anything you want to say to the community about your character? I think Linny and Lynette's story is quite fascinating because they're both incredibly fun characters and all about razzle dazzle but their collective past is so dark and painful yeah I mean, they both mask it really well particularly lenny who appears front facing very confident but he's burdened by his ties to the Fatui, growing up as an orphan kind of acting as a parent to his siblings i feel like he was forced to grow up really fast and i guess i can relate to that do you have an anniversary message you'd like to share I still remember when Genshin first came around, and I thought it was the neatest concept. I know this game has gotten so many people through so much stuff, and I'm really excited Hold to <laughs> finally be a part of it in such a big way. It's really special to me, and I can't wait to see where the rest of the game goes. My name is Anaris Kinanis, and I am the voice of Lynette. I love Lynette. And I actually adore cats, so this is a true honor. Yeah, why are you is there a cat? You want to say to the community? We want to know. Character? Yeah, uh, Lynette. Lynette is really fun for me because you know she is the the deadpan kind of I guess emotionless character archetype, but we did try to elevate her from that. Um, so it's really fun. Uh, trying to you know keep that feel that base feel of her being deadpan but also adding enough nuance so that she is an interesting character do you have an anniversary that's what i love like about lynette yeah, how she can be that's crazy so um, deadpan sometimes I'm but so funny excited. i'm excited to see future characters i'm excited to see more fontaine um me too and girl more lynette of course uh and um, yeah, I want to thank you guys for being so supportive and stuff. Um, it's uh, it's been a blast, and I can't wait to see you guys enjoy the rest of it. There you have it, folks. For real this time. This is Ace Reporter Maya signing off. Excuse me, I am all burps right now. I do not know why. <laughs> It makes sense now <laughs> why this was so long because I forgot this was them like celebrating their anniversary. So it makes sense. 
这是有了你们的陪伴与热情，我们才能不断前行。回顾一路走过来的时光，旅行者们向我们提出了许多宝贵的反馈与建议，我们也因此能不断优化游戏体验。Guess who's going to one of the in-person Genshin? And hopefully me, because I just saw that it's going to it's going to be in Boston, and I I, I want to try to go. But I don't know. Are you going? Oh, is it? Never mind. I just saw that they just I thought they just announced it. So never mind. I guess not going. You're going. Wait, you got a ticket to the one in Boston? Wait, when did how? When? Where? I thought they just were like announced it today. But congrats! Oh, I didn't know that. I've been listen. This past month has been nothing but uh, nonstop for me. He did not just write that. There's no way. Alrighty. Well, there you have it, guys. <clears throat> that was the Nintendo Direct, the State of Play, and the Genshin 4.1 <clears throat> live letter. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was that was some good stuff. The Nintendo Direct was great, the State of Play was great, and the Genshin stuff was pretty good, too. I'm really... Um, <clears throat> bitters bittersweet feeling about the whole uh, a new area coming out of Fontaine already, because I'm not prepared for it as I never am. But we're getting another area, so of course. But um, I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be good to myself, and probably wrap it up here. My first. Stream back. I'm still coughing like a bunch, so I'm gonna probably just kind of end. I think. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna raid anybody since I'm like all sick and stuff. But let me see who's live. But um, I I'm gonna try to be back tomorrow. I feel like I'm getting a little bit better every day. So, I'm hoping tomorrow I'll be even better. Um, tomorrow, if I, if I stream, I'm definitely going to be playing Pokemon for the DLC. So, if I'm here tomorrow, it'll be for Pokemon. The Teal DLC, specifically. Let's see. Let's go say hello to Indie Saga. They're, I think they're also watching this. Oh, yeah, he's literally about to watch the program, too. So, we're gonna go say hello. And I'm, it, it's nice to talk to you guys again. I feel like I have not in ages. Um, this was me testing out my range. And I'm kind of a little sore. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna take it easy for the rest of the night and try to come back tomorrow um, for some Pokemon. So it's been so nice seeing you all. I hope you all had a great past like two weeks without me. Um, hope you're not too. Hope you haven't been too bored. Hopefully, um, since I'm on antibiotics and all the other meds for being sick, next week I should be like much better. Uh, I should get better every day. I hope. So yeah. It's been lovely, you guys. Have a great night. And I'll hopefully see you guys tomorrow. Don't get sick. You know, wash your hands. Stay away from people. <laughs> people are contagious. I'll see you guys to hopefully tomorrow, maybe. But, you know, uh, no promises just in case. Okay, I love you guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye.